Several countries are working toward enhancing their military drone technologies to fight threats posed by hostile drones or loitering munitions. To mitigate these threats, Lockheed Martin has come up with an armed drone named Morpheus. Morpheus is capable of blasting enemy drones out of the sky with a high-powered microwave HPM. Lockheed Martin presented the system as part of the AUSA's Global Force Next conference. Morpheus is a reusable drone that can fit inside a 6-inch diameter launch tube and weighs less than 30 pounds or 13 kilograms. The compact dimension and lightweight nature enable it to be launched from ground stations, vehicles, or aircraft. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Lockheed Martin's Morpheus drone could help the U.S. military quash enemy drones. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Drone technology has evolved rapidly and the widespread availability of cheap but capable drones is a major threat. The conflicts in Iraq and Syria have shown that this kind of capability is within reach of even non-state actors. In January 2018, a mass drone attack was witnessed on Russia's main outposts in Syria, the Kamemim Air Base and the naval base in Tartus. On the 19th of July 2019, then U.S. President Donald Trump had said that the USS Boxer downed an Iranian drone. As per him, the drone came within 1,000 yards of the U.S. Navy ship and ignored multiple calls to stand down. The drone was taken down through the Marine Air Defense Integrated System, or MADIS, which uses several types of electronic warfare techniques, like radio frequencies jamming, to block the communication system of the drone. On September 14, 2019, the facilities of Saudi Arabia's oil company Aramco, located in the east of the country, came under attack. As per reports, the raid began around 4 a.m., and drones as well as cruise missiles were used in the attack. There were 18 drones and 7 missiles. The world's biggest oil refinery near the city of Abqiq and a refinery near Karais, where Saudi's second largest oil field is located, were targeted. At the presentation, Becca Schwartz, who leads strategy for Lockheed Martin Counter UAS, pointed to, among other things, the spectacular displays of drone swarms in the Olympics, as an example of just how much commercial tech can offer for potential terrorist or military swarming. Schwartz added, accessibility to the hobbyist means it's accessible to the adversary. Drone swarm technology is being nurtured by many nations for combat use. The technology of swarming is in which drones, as well as smart munitions, will be deployed in squadrons, able to think independently and operate as a pack using artificial intelligence AI. This concept will allow thousands of independent units to act as one and home in on the target in a collaborative fashion. It's evident that drones are set to play an important role in the coming days. Brian Dunn of Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control stated, We're focused on how we address the counter UAS swarm threat. Lockheed Martin really believes, he continued, that an airborne delivered HPM effect really has an opportunity to make a big difference against the counter UAS swarm flight that we're going to be facing in the future. Working as part of a layered approach to counter drone defense, Morpheus units will be launched at hostile drones or drone swarms and then disable them in close proximity. 
with potentially a gigawatt of microwave power or as Lockheed put it a million times the power of a standard 1000 watt microwave oven since Morpheus can fly close to its targets and blast them with microwaves at close range it will require to emit much less powerful burst compared to ground based system viewers may note that microwave emissions lose energy as they cross long distances as per Lockheed Martin Morpheus's compact airborne system provides extended range and an onboard seeker to help relieve sensor requirements for expeditionary systems allowing it to be compatible with various defense service architectures so Morpheus will be able to nullify hostile drones well before they can get to sensitive areas like an airbase mr. Dunn said you have to engage the target before it gets to its ordnance release line if it's a kinetic effect or if it's an electronic attack or defeat it before it can employ its ISR capabilities importantly it stated Morpheus is capable of simultaneously defeating multiple threats in a single defensive attack and combating swarms drone technology has seen massive growth and is being used in civilian and military fields experts predict that drones will be a major threat in the coming days this kind of capability will be disruptive as it will be hard to defend against with traditional methods recently images appeared on social media that show trucks carrying Avenger short-range air defense systems on a highway between the Iraqi city of Ramadi and the Syrian border viewers may note that just a few weeks ago the top US general overseeing operations in the Middle East indicated that small unmanned aircraft was the most concerning tactical development since improvised explosive devices became the weapon of choice for militants and terrorists in the region it's likely that the air defense systems are deployed to protect forward bases that the US and other allied forces operate out of in cooperation with locals Morpheus drones will work as part of a layered approach to counter drones which will see systems like Avenger and Morpheus acting in tandem thanks for watching subscribe for more videos like this hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section this will help us improve